It's Kadasali on Sporting Icons. Now, I don't want people thinking that I'm putting down boxing because boxing is, is, is my favourite sport, okay? And I really dislike it when there's a negative shade over boxing. But I've got to say it, which is between Tyson Fury and his younger half-brother Tommy, they seem to be destroying boxing between them. Embarrassing the sport of boxing, embarrassing it. Let's start off with Tommy. Tommy's just fought back-to-back -back YouTubers. Now, Tommy is a guy who has apparently been boxing his entire life, ever since he was seven years old. He's the quote-unquote professional boxer. He should have went in there with these two YouTubers and dismantled them, showed them the levels, showed them this is boxing. What you're doing, you're not even close to what we do. But he didn't. With Jake Paul, he even got dropped in that fight. With KSI, I'm, I'm still seeing people saying that they believe KSI beat Tommy Fury. Now, whether you do or whether you don't, both fights were much closer than what they should have been. And that's embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. Now let's turn our attention to WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, who just got a split decision win over Francis Ngannou. And I'm seeing people all over the internet saying Francis Ngannou got robbed. A guy who's never had a boxing bout in his life. Now, he may well have tampered with it a little bit some odd years ago when he was much younger, but his, his discipline has been mixed martial arts. And people can say, but he's an upright striker in mixed martial arts. He's not that grappler. Makes no difference. Makes absolutely no difference. He's a mixed martial artist. That's what he is. He's a legend in that sport and more power to him, okay? And... Tyson Fury should have taken this guy to school. Area-level fighters, British-level fighters, European-level fighters would have taken Francis Ngannou to hell in a handbasket and stopped him. Why didn't Tyson Fury? He's just showed up boxing. He was supposed to go in there. If this was a quote-unquote real fight, which, of course, that's pretty much what it turned out to be in the end, but Fury should have went in there and showed him this is boxing. What you do ain't boxing. You're entering my world. I'm the king of this world. And I'm going to show you how far beneath me you are. That's what you should have done. Whether it be a very, very wide points decision win, a, an absolute schooling where, where he spent the entire 10 rounds showboating, embarrassing Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou is this big, heavyset guy who should have been gassing. Fury should have made him gas. But he couldn't even do that. Instead, Tyson Fury found his backside on the canvas in round number three. He was the one who couldn't find his distance. He was the one who didn't know what to do with Francis Ngannou. How does this happen? Between Tyson and Tommy, they are killing the sport of boxing. And people are giving them a pass. Why? Because you love them. Your feelings have nothing to do with it. This is the reality. Both of them two, doing these crossover fights, should have been levels above them. Levels. Not just eke out results. And that's what they've done. They've just eked out results. Now, is it because John Fury is a bad smell around them? I don't know. Are they overlooking opponents? Do they think that they're so much better that they don't even need to train properly? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, I mean, honestly... This is Tyson Fury, a guy who defeated Vladimir Klitschko. A guy who bashed up Deontay Wilder three times. A guy who knocked out Dillian White. They're his best wins. The last one with Derek Chisora is, is not even worth talking about. This is a guy who's meant to be fighting for Undisputed against Alexander Usyk next. Went the distance and won on a split decision where it, it appears that most of the internet is claiming that Francis Ngannou won that fight. Now, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that because Francis Ngannou done much better than what most people thought he was going to do. So, of course, people look to give the rounds. It's just in us. OK, so I do have to watch it back with a level head on it because right now I can't necessarily disagree with that perception. Maybe even a draw. 
But the reality is, it was officially awarded a split decision win. And there's no way Tyson Fury was going to lose, even if Francis Ngannou knocked him out, because this is in Saudi Arabia. These guys have invested a lot of money on the next fight with, with Alexander Usyk. Do you think they're going to allow Tyson Fury to lose his fight? This is, this is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Between Tyson and Tommy, they are killing boxing. And all these dick riders out there you need to start living back in the world of reality. They're taking the piss out of boxing. That's what they're doing. Now you've got MMA fans out there saying, oh, boxing ain't all that. You've got YouTubers out there, oh, boxing ain't all that. Anyone can just turn to boxing. What, this is the so-called best, is it? Your heavyweight world champion. Look at him. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. He better hope for his own reputation that he redeems himself against Alexander Usyk. Because, listen, his reputation's been on the down low for like the past year or so. It's been sliding rapidly. And that performance... <laughs> listen, I'm out. Drop your thoughts below, click on the subscribe, catch, catch the next video.